Good afternoon. The webinar will begin in a half a minute. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Mariah Systems webinar on intelligent capture using IBM DataCat Taskmaster. My name is Sean Scott. I'm a pre-sales engineer with Mariah Systems, and I'm a certified DataCat professional and a certified FileNet PA professional. And what I'd like to talk to you and show you today is a little bit about Mariah Systems and what we offer as services. Uh, give you an idea of the DataCap overview, as well as the key features of DataCap and how it can be used in your organization. And then demonstrate a couple of different uses of DataCap, and then you can see where you can apply that within your organization. And then we'll have a quick Q&A session, and then we'll wrap up the webinar. A little bit about Mariah Systems. We've been a partner for f over 15 years with IBM and we're an IBM Premier partner. We've deployed hundreds of business process automation solutions, including one of our own marketed products called Manage Pay that's built on the FileNet ECM and BPM platform. We're DataCap Intelligent Capture Specialists, where we actually use DataCap in that Manage Pay application for accounts payable processing. We have customers in multiple industries, including manufacturing, banking, insurance, energy, transportation, and government. And if you'd like more information about Mariah Systems, please visit our website at mariahsystems.com. So what is DataCap? It's an intelligent capture system. And what I mean by capture, it's taking in paper documents, scanning them in, or maybe electronic documents that you're receiving via email or fax, and it's going through those documents and extracting information out of those documents automatically. It is not an accounting system. It's not a workflow system. It's not a document management or storage system. It's just a capture piece that's going to take the documents in your organization and pull information out of it automatically. It's built to streamline the document capture process and reduce or maybe even eliminate data entry of that information. Let me give you a brief overview of DataCap. It used to be its own company, and it was acquired by IBM in August 2010. It was purchased to be its, uh, its strategic capture solution because DataCap provides an end-to-end, -end enterprise-wide capture solution. IBM has integrated it into its IBM ECM P8 suite. And that includes the legacy FileNet Image Services product, as well as the more recent P8 ECM product. It also integrates with other non-IPM ECM systems like Microsoft SharePoint and many others. So you can actually use this organizationally across the board. And I'd like to also point out that Mariah Systems has been a DataCap partner since 2003, prior to the IBM acquisition. So we are also an IBM Premier partner, and we've been a DataCap partner for over eight years. Now let's talk about what is Capture and what comes along with DataCap Taskmaster. The main components are its Taskmaster Scan. That allows you to scan in documents, paper documents, and process those. There's also a background process called the Rule Runner Server, which houses the recognition engines. And I'll talk a little bit more about the recognition engines, but that's the piece that actually pulls the data out of the documents. It also comes with a product called Taskmaster Verify. And what I mean by Verify is it takes all the data that was extracted out of the documents and delivers it to the end user for verification. Perhaps it didn't read all the information, or perhaps you just want an end user to verify or approve something. So that, that application will deliver the data and the image and a screen, make it available for an end user to view. 
There's also out-of-the-box applications for specific document types, and those are invoices for accounts payable. There's an add-on module that has already been built that will allow you to process invoices, and I'll go through a demonstration of that for you so you have an understanding of how that works. There's also a module for medical claims because medical claims are standard. There's an application built to read all of the uh, EOB forms automatically and capture that information so that you don't need to do any data entry. There's also another product under the Verify umbrella, and that's for generic capture that will allow you to uh, process different document types. And I will also demonstrate that functionality so you can see how it might fit in your organization. It also comes with a very robust reporting tool. And I'll show you some screenshots of that as well so that you have a better understanding. But it's a web-based reporting tool that shows you progress of documents, uh, user uh, performances, things of that nature. There's also add-in products um, that's available. And those are to process faxes and emails so that if you have the requirement that you automatically want to process emails that you're gathering, there's an add-on for that and the same thing for faxes. So let's talk about some key features of IBM DataCap Taskmaster. It extracts machine print, hand print, checkboxes, and barcodes automatically. And this will allow you to process these documents with very little data entry. It could almost eliminate data entry in many cases. It also automatically identifies document types by using a combination of uh, pattern logic. And it also learns these documents, new documents, on the fly so that an end user can define a document type, locate where the data is to be extracted in the form, and save it automatically. In many situations, um, a typical scanning application you might need an IT resource to configure all this information. With DataCap, an end user can slip, simply click on the image, tell you where that information is to be extracted, define the document type, and so that the next time that document comes in, it will automatically be recognized by the system and processed automatically. It also has the ability to add advanced validations, such as database lookups, math calculations, to ensure that the data was read correctly. For instance, on a claim form, you may want to validate the customer name with the uh, policy number to get the cl correct claim number. You can verify the claim number that was read by querying the database on those two values so that you ensure that it's 100% accurate. It also enables you to de design and deploy complex applications without expensive programming. Many of the information that is uh, processed is just by configuring, say, a SQL database call for when you do a database validation. So you don't have to program anything. It's all configuration. It also provides advanced reporting, real-time reporting with a dashboard view and other management tools so that you can manage the document capture process. So let's talk about the recognition engines. I had mentioned that it has a recognition engine. It actually has four different engines. The first one is OCR, or Optical Character Recognition. That allows you to read typewritten information. In this case, on the form, you can read the typewritten data. It also supports OMR, which is Optical Mark Recognition. And you can see in this form, there's little dots that are filled out. Optical Mark Recognition will read those dots and interpret that into a data value. It also supports ICR, which is intelligent capture, capture recognition, and that's reading handprint data. And you can see here someone filled out their height as 6 feet 0 inches. The system will read the 6 feet 0 inches, and it will also read those dots. It will also validate and compare those values to ensure that it was read with 100% accuracy. It also supports barcode information, so that if... Uh, you needed to read any of the data in a barcode or automatically read that information. So you could see how the combination of all these engines can be used and how powerful they are so that you don't need to do any data entry. It also has a uh, key feature that I'd like to point out. DataCap supports what they call click and key. And what I mean by that 
is you can click on the image and extract the information automatically in the verification screen. So in this case, you can see an example of a data entry screen on the left and on the right hand side, an image viewer. An end user can simply click on the image, a field on the image, and will automatically pull that data and put it into that field automatically so that an end user doesn't even need to key in any data. It's simply just clicking on an area. And when you click on the area, the system will remember that area so that the next time that document will come in, it will automatically extract that information. So the end user has the ability and control to um, define your document types and where the data is stored. You do not need an IT resource to do that. Here's some uh, features that I also like to point out on reporting. You see a couple of screenshots here where these are the reports that are available on a web-based application that shows you real-time activity of the documents that are being processed. You can find out where they are in the process, at what stage they are in, how long they've taken for processing. It also has a dashboard view so that if someone uh, just wanted to view where are we on our document processing, it can easily be viewed in a dashboard. You're also able to create custom reports so that if you wanted to extract information from, say, some third-party databases or maybe your file at ECM system, it can be customized to pull that information and be included in some of these reports. So with that, I'd like to show you a quick demonstration. What I'm going to do is uh, the first example will be how you can process invoices using the Accounts Payable module. The second demonstration will be how we could process a, a claim file that includes uh, different document types that might be found in a claim file. So with that, I just want to show you, here's an example of an invoice that I want to scan in and process. And I'll show you a couple of other examples. Here's another invoice. Here's another invoice. So what we're going to do is get DataCap Taskmaster to automatically scan in this information and process it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the scan button. This is my data cap. Uh, when you log on to data cap, this is the first screen you'll see. This window at the top has all the user functions or operations that are available to that user. And that's all security driven. Because I'm an administrator, I can see all of the processes that are going on. In the bottom hand uh, window, you'll see the job monitor. That shows me all the batches that are available for processing and at which state they are in. In this case, the first one is in the verify stage. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is scan in those invoices. It pulled in the invoices. Now I'm going to go ahead and move it to the background process. In most cases, a user will not see the background process. Typically, the batch will automatically be sent to the background process server. It'll be picked up. And at this process, what we're doing is we're taking those invoices that we scanned in, we're reading all of the information using the OCR recognition engine, as well as uh, some of the zone area information that we have for that those type of invoices. Not only that, we're actually doing some image cleanup. And by in image cleanup, I mean we're de-skewing the document so that if it was scanned in crooked, it'll automatically straighten it out. We're also despeckling it, which means we're taking out some of the background dots that might be on the document. We also do things like line removal. And line removal for invoices is very important because it'll take out the boxes and grids that you might find around the data that you want to capture so that it improves our recognition throughput. So the background process is complete. Now this is the verify step. Now what this is going to do is display the data and the image that we've uh, scanned in and display that to an end user so that you can quickly see the information that was captured. So let me describe this uh, verification screen. On the right hand side you'll see an image viewer. This is the document that we scanned in. On the left hand side you'll see it's the data entry area. The top portion of the data entry area includes the header information for the invoice. And you can see we have vendor information, vendor number, uh, invoice type, purchase order number, etc. On the bottom hand uh, of the data entry screen, you'll see line item information. 
And what we were able to do is capture all of the line item information automatically. And not only did we capture it, we validate it. So let me just explain that in more detail. Here we've actually captured the vendor, the vendor name. I have the ability, if we weren't able to capture, I can look up the vendor from my vendor master table and select the vendor. So we have links in two external databases to verify data. You can see here I clicked on the remittance zip code. If you see in the viewer window, let me zoom that for you, it shows you where that information was extracted and uh, the ability to automatically highlight that information for the verify operator it allows the end user to quickly see where that information is captured on the image. Not only do we show it in the image viewer but if you notice right above the data entry screen there's what we call a snippet and this is just sort of a cut and paste of the part of the image that we're actually extracting the information so that the data entry person or verification person just needs to look directly above the data entry field to view that information. Now this information is also color coded in the data entry area. This is in the color light blue which means that the information was read with 100 percent accuracy. Um, if you look down here this is in yellow that means that I didn't read it with 100% confidence. Let me deliver that to an end user just to verify the data. So in this case, it did read all of the vendor information with 100% accuracy, including the invoice total, the PO number, the invoice number, etc. Now, with the line item information, it's asking me to validate this number one here because it's highlighted in red. This was the only character that perhaps it didn't read with 100% accuracy and that's probably because with this font under the 2100 the one could be a 7 or it could be a 1 so we put a threshold that if it's just below the 100% level to deliver to the end user in your organization you may want to lower that threshold so that this document is processed automatically by the end user so what we also do too is we also put some math calculations in there to multiply the quantity that we found with the price to make sure it equals the line total. And not only do that, we take it a step for further where we add up all the line totals and make sure that it matches the invoice total with the tax and any shipping information so that we're actually validated all this data. If this did not all add up, this would be highlighted in red and wouldn't allow the end user to process this invoice. But because everything was read with 100% accuracy, I'm going to go ahead and process this invoice. And again, here's another invoice that we've scanned in. We, this system is just asking us to review the invoice number that was read. And you can see here by looking at the snippet as well as in the uh, image viewer that we did read it with 100% accurate. It looks good. The line items look good. I'm going to go ahead and process this document. Now here's a case where one of the fields did not pass validation on our background process and we delivered it to the end user for correction. And I know this because it's highlighted in red. What we do is we do field validations as well as those mathematical calculation validations. And if none of them pass, we deliver to an end user to clean up the data or verify the data. In this case, it read invoice date as 22909, but it, our system checked to see if it was a valid date. And because it was not a leap year, it was passed as invalid. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and correct that, check my validation again, and the validation is passed. So you could see it automatically, even though it read the 09 correctly, that's not a correct date. We don't want to accept that data. We need to have that corrected. So I've changed it to a leap year of this year of 2012. So now all that information looks like it's correct. Let me just point out there's a couple of buttons down here where I can uh, view some of the details of the, the document. Here are all my line items that were read. And you can see in this case, there's two line items. It did read everything with 100% accuracy. The quantity times the price equals the line totals. All the line totals equal the invoice total plus the tax plus the shipping. Everything is ready to be processed. So I'm going to go ahead and process this document. 
Now this invoice is a brand new invoice that came in our system. It's a two page document that came in from a new vendor. So what I want to do is go ahead and process this document and show you and demonstrate how an end user can actually classify the document and also point out where all the information would be extracted for this new invoice or this new vendor. So typically they would simply put in the vendor name into a quick vendor lookup. In this case, we pulled the vendor number that came from our master vendor master table. Typically, a, a vendor would not include your internal vendor number. So we do a database lookup to pull that information so that you're able to pass that into your ERP system automatically. Again, I'm going to click on the remit and zip code field so that we're able to extract this information automatically. And to do that, an end user, all they have to do is click on the zip code for that vendor and will automatically be extracted through the OCR process and put into this field. And if you notice, the invoice date, invoice number, and invoice total have already been extracted, even though we've never seen this document before. We were able to capture that through OCR. We read through all the information and pulled out some of the header information, including the shipping. And this had done this automatically. And the system will remember where that information was captured for future use. So what it was unable to do was the line item information. So an end user will then have to add a new line item to this vendor. Click on the item ID, let's say, and then simply click on the image viewer. And you can see it automatically extracted the data as data. It took the area that I clicked on it and created a snippet for it. And so that the next time this vendor submits an invoice, we'll know exactly where the item number is. Same thing for quantity. Same thing for the item description. And also the price and the line total. So now the end user did not enter any, any data into the system. All it did was click on the first line of the image to capture that information and the systems automatically remembered where that information was captured. So I have a button down here, find details. What that's going to do when I click on that, it's going to take the locations of my first line and figure out all the lines that are on this invoice. Even though this invoice is a two page document, it went back and brought in 23 line items. And if I want to go ahead and view the information that was captured, you can easily see that it captured all 23 line items of this invoice by just a user clicking on the first line item. And if you could see, the data has been validated where we multiply the quantity times the price times the line total. And if I want to go ahead and step through each one of these line items just to verify that the system read it correctly, for example, I could just click on the next button and if you notice the image viewer, it's highlighting each line item. And you can see it's all colored in blue, which means it read it with 100% accuracy. So now I just want to go ahead and validate the data to make sure that all of my line totals match my invoice total and validations passed. An end user doesn't necessarily have to do that because the document process will not allow it to go to the next step until that is validated or the, the user has the ability to override it for some reason if you wanted to uh, process it without matching. But it will alert the end user. So I'm going to go ahead and process that document. And now I'm done with all the invoices that I scanned. So you can see how powerful the accounts payable application is where I didn't have to enter one piece of data and I was able to process four invoices including all of the invoice information and line item information so that I'm able to post that in my ERP system like Oracle Financials or SAP. So that's an example of how you can use invoices, invoice processing. Let me demonstrate something like an insurance claim file where it, typically invoices are all the same. You know, I, I want to capture all the same information. In insurance, you might be processing a claim file that will have various different document types. In each one of those document types, you might have different data that you want to capture based on the document type. So in this case, I've already scanned in a couple of documents from my claim file. 
I want to go ahead and deliver that to an end user for verification and I can show you how that process works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that batch. Now this is a document that's come in and what we want to do is have the end user classify this automatically or classify this and store it so that the next time it comes in this document will automatically be read by the user. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of my document classes. I'm going to select a correspondence document. When I sel select that, you can see these are the three fields that I want to capture. Again, with the accounts payable application, I don't have to enter data. I could simply click on the image viewer and it's going to extract the claim number automatically. And it's also going to use the same color coded features that we saw on accounts payable that if it wants to verify data, it'll highlight the items that it wants to be validated. Again, I can just click on the other field, which is date captured, and then from. So again, I'm not entering any data. I'm simply clicking on the image viewer. I'm now telling the system to process this document, and it's going to store it in its database so that the next time you ensure comes in with a, uh, a correspondence document, it will automatically extract that data. So I'm going to process this document. And here, this is a premium notice that we've often processed and it all is already included in our document type library. You can see the system automatically classified it as a premium notice. It automatically extracted the policy number and the policy date. So in this case, I didn't have to read any of that data. It read it with 100% accuracy. Most likely in your system, you wouldn't deliver this document to an end user. You would have it processed automatically by the system which is important to remember. Here's another document. It's a correspondence document. It was able to read all the information, classify it as a correspondence, pulled the claim number, date mailed, and from automatically because we've already seen this document type. And here's a standard EOB form. You can see here we automatically extracted the claim number. And you can see here it's highlighted in the image viewer as well as we provide the snippet. We've got the patient, the accident date. For explanation of benefits, those are the three fields we want to capture, claim number, patient, and accident date. For the correspondence, we were capturing other information. So you can see here, as the document types change, the information we capture changes, and the system remembers that automatically so that you're able to process different document types all in one pass. If you happen to have FileNet Image Services or P8, Typically, you have to pre-sort your documents by document class for processing. With DataCap, you don't have to do that. It'll automatically classify it for you, match it up with the document class in Image Services or P8. So in this case, for this next document, this is an ISO claim search report. It, it highlighted in red the Social Security number field. It said that it's invalid. And the reason it's invalid because our database system, our claim system, requires that we have the hyphens for the social security number. So we've highlighted or we validated each and every field and we said, oh wait, so the social security number, we need the dashes in there. We could also put in some logic to automatically add those, those um, dashes if need be. But in this case, we're just demonstrating the fact that we're validating the data. Now, now that I put the dashes in there, all the fields have been validated. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and process this document. Again, here's a quick document, and it, I went, went and tried to process it and said that this amount is not in a currency format. Do I want to override? In this case, I'm going to say yes because our system on the claim system will accept the dollar amount. Now here we have a third party form that's come in that does not include our internal claim number. It's a claim form, but it doesn't have a claim number yet even though we might have taken the loss information or the medical claim information. So we have a database lookup to take the IO number and the insured number found on the document to get the claim number. So when I click on that, it goes to our external database and automatically pulls back the claim number. So you have the ability to do database lookup and validation as well. And again, here's just an example how we process uh, a third-party form. We're able to capture all the information accurately, validate the data, 
in this case, the dollar amount, the deductible amount, the claim number. So you can see as, as we process different document types, we're capturing different information. And here's an auto loss report. Another different document type with different fields. If I wanted to change these fields and end user, all they have to do is simply click on it. And then next time this document comes in, it'll pull the insured name from that field area automatically. Again, here's just another example of another document type that we're processing. So there I've gone through my entire claim file, processed them automatically, did not have to enter any data, as well as I didn't need IT to document or classify these documents for me. An end user had automatically done that. So that concludes the demo portion of the webinar. And what I'd like to explain to you is what happens after you've captured all the data. DataCap has the ability to export that data that was pulled out of those forms, pulled out of those documents, and export them into a database or a flat file or an XML file or even something simply as a spreadsheet. So in the case of the accounts payable application, we would export that data uh, as an EDI stream into our ERP system for automatic processing. Or we might be able to take some of that claim data and put it into our claim system to alert a, an adjuster that a new document has come in for that claim. So that gives you an example of the entire data cap capture process for two examples. So what I'd like to talk to you about what Mariah Systems offers, and that's a data cap quick start program. It's specifically designed with our project methodology to reduce your risk and speed your deployment of DataCap. So if you happen to be thinking about DataCap, we will be able to come in and help you quickly deploy your DataCap applications um, in your environment. We have a proven approach to implement DataCap rapidly, especially in a FileNet environment, because we have the expertise of both FileNet and DataCap resources. This will save you time and money by leveraging our pre-configured rules that are applicable to many of our clients. It's applicable to accounts payable, accounts receivable, human resources, and high volume form processing that you would find in insurance claim processing. This quick start program is fixed price and a fixed scope and gives you a rapid return on your investment. And some of our customers that have gone through our Quick Start program or have used our data cap services, these are some of the new companies you can see, insurance and manufacturing, financial. So with that, I'd like you to think about data cap and think about Mariah Systems if you're going to deploy it in the near future. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to you for question and answers. Um, I'll give you a minute to submit any questions. You could do that online through uh, the raising of the hand through the net meeting user interface.